Open your book to page 57, and this is lesson 2.7a, and this lesson is to reduce fractions. So to reduce fractions, again, we kind of covered this a little bit earlier. So let's go to example one. You have 12 over 18, and you, you want to reduce the lowest term. So what you want to do, you want to divide both the top and the bottom by the same number to lower the number. So reduce means, you know, you want to lower the number. So again, if you don't, if you don't see it right away that these are divisible by 6, that's okay. You can do it step by step, okay? So notice both of these are even, so you can divide by 2. So when you divide by, so you divide by 2, divide by 2, you get uh, 6, divide by 2, you get 9. Now, note that both of these are divisible by 3, so you can divide by 3, you get 2, divide by 3, you get 3, okay? So you end up with 2 over 3, okay? So that's your fraction, and that's your answer. Okay. Now, let's go to example 2. You have 30 over 42. Now, try to give yourself enough space to, to write, okay? So again, what you do is, um, notice both are even, so you can divide by 2. So divide by 2, you get 15. Divide by 2, you get 21. Now try to write above and below, okay? So that way, easier to keep track. Now you got 15 and 21. Both of these are divisible by 3. So divide by 3, you get 5. Divide by 3, you get 7, and that's it. Because these are prime numbers already. So this is going to be equal to 5 over 7. And that's your answer, okay? Again, make sure you go down and, and write your answer over here. Okay, let's go to example 3, so on page 58, example 3, you have 150 over 280, and you want to reduce. So first, notice both last digits are 0, so you can just divide by 10, divide by 10 means you just get rid of that, right? So get rid of that, divide by 10, and now you have 15 over 28, and can you divide by uh, anything? Well, this only can divide by 3 and 5. This only can divide by 2, uh, 4, and 7, and 14. So cannot, right? Again, so all you have to do is test one of them. So this can divide by 3 and 5, but this one cannot divide by any of the 3 or the 5. That means you cannot divide. So answer would be just 15 over 28. Okay, let's go to example 4. Example 4, you have an 18 over 45. You want to reduce to the lowest term. Again, if you notice that this can divide by 9, right? Because if you add the digits together, it's equal to 9, so you can divide by 9. If you add the digits together, it's equal to 9, so you can divide by 9. But if you don't see that, you can do the 3s, right? Notice, again, if you add this equal to 9, 9 can divide by 3. If you add this digits equal to 9, you can divide by uh, the 3, right? But the, the, so if you divide by 3, you get 6. Divide by 3, you get 15. Then you have to do it one more time. Divide by 3, you get 2. Divide by 3, you get 5. So the answer would be 2 over 5. So make sure you do the crossing out so you can follow and you can keep track. Okay, so let's go and do a couple more examples. Now, in the book, it tells you to kind of break it up into factors. Uh, probably not a good idea to do that. It just takes too much time. So it's easy to just go and cancel things out. So on, on page um, 59, and let's do example 7. Okay, you got uh, 28 over 56, right? Again, all you have to just go and divide, divide by the same number. Again, you go, to, you, you go and divide by 2, 3, then 5, then 7, and go on, right? So notice, first you do the 2. Notice both are even, so both can divide by 2. So divide by 2, you get 14. Divide by 2, you get 28. You should see that right now, you can see, you can divide by 14. But let's say if you didn't see that. So again, both are even, so you can divide by the 2. So divide by 2, you get 7. Divide by 2, you get 14. So now you can see you can divide by 7, right? So divide by 7, you get 1. Divide by 7, you get 2. So the answer is 1 over 2. Now make sure you keep track of your fraction line. Okay, so you can keep track of what's on top, what's on the bottom. Okay. 